Hi, my name is Angela Alvarang and I'm here with ID8 TV and we're here at the Los Angeles Festival of Books and I'm here with Felton Perry and I just want to ask you if you could tell us about your new book. Sure. Uh, the, the book is uh, Between Tomorrow and Yesterday and uh, as you can see I use a pen name, F1 Ye Uleson. Uh, I did that for a couple of reasons. Number one, you know, I, I wanted to have something out there, you know, that this kind of honors my mother. Her name was Eula, so, so Eula, you know, so I wanted to, son of Eula, you know. And um, there are plays, two, a book of two plays. The first play uh, is uh, Sleep No More. It's like a musical comedy. And um, it's about the night of the murders of King Duncan in Macbeth's castle. And the witches say, sleep no more, sleep no more, when Macbeth is, you know, stabbing his cousin. The king was his cousin, by the way. Outside of Macbeth, did you have any other favorites of Shakespeare's that really captured your heart outside of this one? Uh, you know, over the time, over time. Uh, king Lear, and because as far as I'm concerned, King Lear is a... They call him, they, they kind of play him for being like a doddering old fool and he doesn't know what he's doing. I get the feeling that King Lear is this person who sees that it's, as I, you know, say in this, in, in Sleep No More, that life is just a joke. He sees, finally he sees through the whole thing, but it's by then everybody thinks like, oh man, you know, you're an old fool. You know, they kind of really missed the point. If I were to do it, I would kind of like to, you know, focus on this man has seen it and sees that it's all for naught as what Shakespeare writes time and time again in different plays. You do all this and for what? You know, it, it's not going to make any difference. Macbeth is going to die and so somebody else is going to come along and kill him and, and, and it's going to continue, you know? And it's like King Lear becomes like, in my opinion, I'm beginning to think this more and more, that he's, he's just seen it and he, he really can't relate you know to his his, his daughters his son-in-laws to the kingdom he can't relate to him anymore because it, it's also futile what are we doing this for you know to be or not to be in a, in a way of speaking you know and um so i like that you know i mean that's what i that's the other you know play that i have a feeling for you know the other ones uh they're good for reading, but you know, I'm. I guess I'm not involved enough to get those, uh, you know, uh, messages. Yeah. You're right. I think Kling Lear doesn't really get the attention he deserves, but yeah, I completely understand. Well, I just wanted to thank Felton Perry for speaking with us today. My name is Angela Alvarenga, and we're here with ID8 TV. Thank you.